Hey, we're streaming. Just getting some shit set up here. Let's see. Let's turn this up. There we go. That seems good. All right. Turn this down a bit. Cool. All right. And then... Hmm. Let's see here. Where should I move my own web camera? Oh, I haven't even activated it yet. Hey. There we go. Let's see here. I'm not really sure where a good spot is for this game. I do not know. Hmm. Maybe we'll wing it. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Let's load up. There we go. But yeah, like I was saying uh, the other day on a prior stream, this is why I've been playing lately. As you can see, it is not my first time playing at all. This was um, my playthrough when the game first came out, I believe. Yeah, before any big updates. I think this was even before they added in... I should say he added in. It's just made by one person at the beginning. I think I think now he's hired on like other people to help out and like maybe outsources certain things, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. But this was before they added in Shane and who was it? Who was the other one? Emily to be bachelor and bachelorette and then this was after that i think this character and then this is my most recent one sort of as part of the recent 1.5 update let's do it it's a very relaxing game i enjoy it for that all right it is raining today which is good if you're completely unfamiliar, Stardew Valley is like this, um, if you've played Harvest Moon. It's very similar to that. Made by a single person originally, like I said. Let's see. We can check our weather for tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's... Oh, it's the... It's Spirit's Eve in Pelican Town. Oh my gosh. What's our luck today? Good. You don't even really need to read this. You can just... If you can discern from the imagery up here. You're good to go. All right. Let's see. But rain, very good, because you don't ever have to water any of your shit. A couple days ago, I got this big fucking, like, super pumpkin to grow, which is great. Let's see. Get all these as well. Good, good, good. Now, I just recently had... Well, okay, yeah. For people who are unfamiliar, let's start from the beginning. So, if you totally have no idea what, like, this sort of... I hesitate to say, like, full-fledged farming sim, because it's more arcadey, right? The, um, Harvest Moon comparison is a lot more apt than, like, farming simulator whatever year, right? Um, it's sort of, I guess even more so, maybe a life sim, a life sim farming sim, right? Where you just kind of live on this farm. You don't even actually have to do farming if you don't want to, but I don't know. I don't really know anyone who hasn't done it, right? I think maybe only people who have done, like, challenge runs and stuff. I don't know if anyone ever just started out the game thinking, Hey, I'm not going to do farming in this game. I'm just going to... I don't know. I guess you could tend to animals. That's technically farming, right? You could be, like, a rancher. But yeah, you can build up your farm. You grow plants and stuff. You explore the town. The world. It's kind of similar to Animal Crossing, but not quite. Because it's this isn't limited by like real lifetime. All right, let's see. This is from Evelyn, who is like an old grandma who lives in the town. Oh, hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Signed, Evelyn. She mailed me cookies. Seems unsafe to mail food like that. 
especially in just an envelope. <laughs> Dear Lyle, notice the chill in the air? It could just be the approach of winter. Or it could be the tingle of a dark specter here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, the Spirit's Eve. Come to town at 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate. Right. So, like, um, the seasons come and go. Right now we're at the very end of autumn. Every season is... What, 28 days? Yeah. It's very nice. There we go. Rub our chickens. Makes them very happy. Makes them shoot out more eggs. It's great. Alright. Let's gather up some more of these. Yeah, this is kind of like, I guess, <laughs> good timing for just harvesting a bunch of shit. You can harvest that humongous pumpkin, but I kind of don't want to. Because it's kind of rare that they appear unless you explicitly farm for them. Well, you know, farm for them <laughs> within, like, the meta sense. Like, the video game sense of farming. There we are. Should we get rid of any of this other shit? Nah, let's hold on to it for now. But yeah, you plant seeds here, you gotta water them, you have, like, a watering can, you gotta till the soil. You can set up sprinklers, you can automate some of it. Actually, I think now you can automate a whole lot of it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think a lot of it has the ability to be automated. Alright. If anything, I would more compare this to, speaking of automation, something very relaxing like... Satisfactory. I find that game super duper chill and relaxing. You can kind of go at your own pace. That said, if you set shit up... Right, just as in Satisfactory, you could run yourself on, like, a timer. Alright. But you basically, like, inherit this farm and stuff from your grandfather who... who is dying. It's very sad. The game is surprisingly, like, emotionally resonant. I don't know. And, like, there's little character vignettes with the people who live in the town. And a lot of that is very endearing. There we go. Let's be nice to these creatures. There we are. Good. And while you can't technically, like... You can't run, like, a fucking butcher's shop, right? Which, thank goodness, because that would... That would really kind of hurt the vibe. You can... I guess the way of getting around it is you just sell off your animals. Because they're worth more the more f uh, friendly they are toward you. So, if you're a rancher, I guess you could theoretically, like, build up your heart rating with all of them, make all of your animals very happy, and then sell them off, right? It seems extremely difficult to do that. But you can also click on these, the udders, so if you have multiple cows, somehow a baby cow appears. <laughs> I don't think you can have a bull, it doesn't go that deep, right? It's, it's very, uh, it's very happy, friendly times, right? It's just a chill-ass time. And you have to have scarecrows up. And see this one? It's scared off 18. If you don't have a scarecrow protecting a certain area, then the crows can appear and just eat up your shit. And that's no good. You don't want that. Let's see. I can do this, because just last night, I leveled up. You have all these skills here. You've got five of them with uh, ten different levels of progression. I recently got Artisan up here. Which, in my opinion, is probably the best one. I think that's the general consensus as well. Unless you are going for, like I said, some sort of weird animal challenge run or whatever, where you're just a rancher rather than farming crops, right? Because I think, um, yeah, I think ranching does get you farming XP too, I believe. But even then, yeah, you can turn, like, milk and stuff into cheese, so this is still probably superior. I don't know. I guess if you were doing the method, like I mentioned, of just selling off your animals and all that. But yeah, there's mining, which is like a, um, a frequent thing in the Harvest Moon games. There's like a whole dungeon area that has mining and combat. The combat is a little, eh, you know, it is what it is. It's almost, um, I don't know, what would you say, reminiscent of like Link to the Past or whatever. Uh, the fishing, a lot of people have trouble with the fishing, but I, I don't know, I never really had too much of a problem with it. Like, obviously, if there's a difficult fish, it's a difficult fish, but I've heard some people be like, yeah, I just can't fish for the life of me. 
Uh, foraging is just like if you're chopping down trees and there's sometimes like wild plants that grow around, you can pick those and sell them off. Let's see. We'll sell off all this junk. Oh, no, wait. I need to keep this. Yeah, because we're also working on this big fantastic community center. Oh, look. Here's someone. It's Pam. Good lord. How do you think she sounds? I always imagined her having like a like a country southern accent, right? And maybe that's like, I don't know, maybe that's profiling because she lives in a trailer. But shit, I don't know. I'm, I am used to live in a trailer, so you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Every day is the same old routine. Do you ever have that problem, farmer? Yeah, but I kind of enjoy it. I don't know. There's some weird degree of satisfaction, right? I always wonder how it translates to someone watching it. Like, I've seen other people play this game as well, and I enjoy it, but that's because, like, I don't know, I guess I get it. That said, I think a lot of people fucking get it, right? Because this has done pretty well for itself, right? Stardew Valley. All right, well, let's go up here. We're working on the community center. Although I've had three characters, I've never once done the Joja Corporation arc, right? I don't know. I just can't bring myself to do it. Let's see. One of these days, maybe I should. Okay, who wants the... What's the animal thing here? So in here, you come and you learn about all these, like, weird mystical creatures and shit. And they like to party up here. And you gotta give them all these, like, party goods and stuff. And bundle them up something nice. And then they'll be up here and they'll give you, like, specific boons. So, like, you'll see I've got most of these done, right? Most of these, I think, were, like, autumn, spring, summer, and then another one. I'm not sure. Foraging, maybe? Yeah, foraging bundles. So, like, you'll... For this animal one, because I haven't gone deep into animals and all of that. Doesn't sound great, but, you know, I still need a large egg. So then when you finish that, you get a little prize, and then when you finish all six of these here in the entire, like, pantry bundle of bundles... You get a greenhouse. Pretty cool. Which lets you do farming on... Like, wintry days. Because it's too cold to do normal farming. So the greenhouse, you can just farm all year long if you want to. And you can even set up, like, little sprinklers inside. And I think eventually, once you finish the entirety of this... Community center with all these bundles... And you get, like, different requirements for the bundles. It's not all just farming. Like, here, you got... Different kinds of fish and stuff from different places, lake fish, river fish, specialty fish, shit like that. And then here you can even see all these other ones. The bulletin board. I don't really understand what all is up with the bulletin board, what the, like, connective tissue is with that. I don't know, maybe the idea is it is just miscellaneous stuff. Oh no, it's for, for the professions of different people in town. Oh my god, I just realized. That's supposed to be what's-his-name, who works at the bar because he's the the bartender in town he's the only one who's like known for being a cook even though he never wears that i've never seen him in that get up let's see and father yeah that's marnie okay and what was this i don't even remember marnie is the one who uh you can buy like livestock from and all of that there we go oh maybe this was robin who is the town carpenter she'll like you can um contract her to build buildings and like upgrade your house which like we tied into earlier you have to go and like chop down trees trees will regrow or you can grow trees on your farm stuff like that let's see and the pantry is just a whole bunch of like product let's see oh it doesn't show ones i've fully completed but there's one over here the vault it's just like pour a fuck ton of money into that right okay speaking of these upgrades and stuff we need to go up there and meet with her. With Robin. Because I have a shitload of money burning a hole in my pocket. Let's see. Alright, because there's, um... I don't know. If you got the money, you should spend it, right? At least in this game. We can upgrade our house, or we can upgrade some buildings. Let's see. It says construct, but for whatever reason, it's it's there. Alright. Alright. Sheds, excellent if you want to have a whole bunch of, like, artisanal equipment on your farm. 
like um, uh, these bins that you can pickle vegetables or turn fruits into jam. You can have kegs that you make wine or juice out of. Stuff like that. They're great for that. We'll probably get a whole bunch eventually. Fish Pond is, like, relatively new? I don't know. I think it was in, like, 1.3. Not something I've really experienced or experimented with. And this is if you do, like, um, co-op. You can have these different cabins and all of that. I think the cabins are also upgradable. I don't know. Are the ca Can you upgrade the cabins, too? I don't think so. Can you? No. Right? I don't think so. But that's why these have such low requirements. It's because, you know, you're meant to get them early on for co-op purposes. Still haven't gotten the stable yet. Jeez. What's up with that? I think they increased the requirements for building that. Slime hutch, you can, like, grow slimes. I don't really know why. I've never really understood it. I, I remember in my, like, huge 140-hour save, I built this, and I had slimes there. But... <laughs> It seemed like it was not worth it, right? You could get, like, some sort of weird slime product from it, but it wasn't worth much? I don't know. Maybe there's a good reason for it now. All right, but we can get this deluxe barn. We've got big barn. No, we can only have deluxe barn. Okay. Should we get a big coop or a deluxe barn? Hmm. Maybe we go with the big coop. Do I have enough wood on me right now? I think I do. Yeah, it would show up in red. Okay, let's upgrade our coop. And this won't be like the permanent spot for this because we you can relocate all of that. It's just sort of um, in your first year or so, you slowly, I don't know, expand outward from your main farmhouse. There we go. And once it gets upgraded, you also get the ability to purchase different animals to put in there. I think uh, after that you get ducks? Or rabbits. One or one of the two. Weirdly enough, the product that you get from rabbits are uh, rabbits' feet, which is a little, a little weird, <laughs> disconcerting. But it's fine. It's fine. Let's see. Oh, and there's this new feature here. These big projects in town. Right. We have to donate 80 w hardwood, which is decently difficult to come into contact with. Hey, I have an idea for a new style of bed, but I'll need 80 hardwood to make it happen. Can anyone help? And it seems like completing each one of these gives you, like, some fun little cutscene or whatever. It's pretty neat. There we go. We'll deposit that, but still, look, the game is clever enough. It still wants me to manually collect 80 pieces, right? I can't just have had it all in stockpile. All right. Hey. Maru sure spends a lot of time working on those gadgets of hers. I'm glad she's so dedicated. He's like a scientist or something. They're married. She is the, like I said, the town carpenter. He, oh, hey. This is Abigail. She's like, um, she's one of the bachelorettes in the game that you could potentially marry. I don't think any of the romances are gender locked at all. I think it's all just fair game. If anything, I actually think that there's some, like, unique uh, bonus dialogue for certain, like, gay couples, I think. Gay and lesbian couples. I think there is actually, like, unique dialogue for that. And that's, I don't know, a pretty cool touch, I think. All right. Lyle, why are you out here in the rain? I'm just doing some work, enjoying the weather. I could ask you the same thing. Yeah, I could, and I am. That's true. I came here to spend some time alone. <gasps> oh, but I don't mind your company. I'm not trying to even romance her, but I've just like... What you... Usually what I do is like... I'll, I'll carry around some items that are good gifts for like general purpose. Usually like most flowers that you can grow on your farm are great for just handing out. So I'll grow a few. And then keep a few for for bees to make honey with. So it just so happens that she's a character that I often come into contact with. 
as I'm going about my daily routine. You're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. <laughs> oh no, this this one? <laughs> no, I chopped this one down. It's still coming back. Oh, we're good now. <laughs> Abigail, geez. It's impossible to describe this feeling. Watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Oh. Oh yeah. We can like play the harp or whatever. Hey, a mini harp! You're full of surprises. I know, I am. I'm impressed. Oh, jeez. Hey, Echo Rain. Subbed uh, with Prime. Three months in total. Oh, look at this. Oh, this would be a really touching moment if I were trying to romance her. Love to just have a platonic relationship and jam on instruments <laughs> in front of a silent lake as the rain romantically falls. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to romance Maru though. There we go. I say trying. It's not too difficult at all. Cool. But yeah, she lives out here. Well, no, no, she doesn't. She just comes out here. Yeah, my bad. Maru lives up there. Abigail lives down here with the shopkeeper. All right, let's see. So what else do I need to get done? Oh, hang on. Let's read this. Echo Rain 13, in addition to all that, says, Been watching your YouTube for a long time. Love your Skyrim and Disco Elysium playthrough. I'm always very excited to see when you start streaming. Thank you. Yeah, holy crap. I love Skyrim and Disco Elysium both as well. They're very fun to... They're very fun in, in very different ways, right? I love them both, but in, in different ways. All right, let's come down here, because I've got some crab pots that need tending to. Let's see, am I actually blocking anything in this bottom corner here? Because I don't really enjoy having my camera be down here. The problem is, is that my, my new hat has text on it, so I feel weird um, having it transposed and flipped which is usually what I'll do. That way my face is facing toward the center of the screen, you know? Makes sense. Here, I'm, I'm going over here. I'll be just right there. That way I don't cover up that bar. Maybe I'll shrink myself just as well. There we are. Oh, thanks, Moplin1. Subbed, uh, two months in total. They say, love your content, man. Thanks. Holy cow. Jeez, unexpected but very welcomed. All right, so down here, and of course, like I said, there's all these different places you can fish from and have all sorts of weird-ass different fish. It's neat. Even the crab pots, you can have freshwater crab pots and all that. But, nonetheless, we're here for these. You gotta bait them. Normal fishing, you don't have to put bait on your rod to get fish, though it is ideal. You'll save so much time, and for some of the more difficult fish, I think you do need bait, right? I think the legendary fish that you can catch require it. All right. So we've done all that. And at a certain point, you can even upgrade here under fishing. You could, instead of being a fisher, you could be like some sort of crab lord. And eventually, I think one of the final crab lord upgrades is that you don't need to ever put bait inside of your crab pots, which is pretty handy. But ultimately, I think the fishing stuff pays off more. I don't know. Maybe that's a mistake. Hmm. Because the bait isn't too hard to come by, right? It doesn't seem like it at all. Let's see. In fact, I also just recently got the ability to make worm bins. Yeah. Yeah. Produces bait on a regular basis. The worms are self-sufficient. Could you imagine that? Just worms? You just get a big bucket of worms and they just keep making more. You don't have to do anything to them. I don't know. Is that how worms work? I think you at least need to give them some soil or whatever, right? And they eventually would like... Yeah, they'd run through all of the nutrients in that soil, wouldn't they? You'd need to like throw some dead plants or whatever in there. I think. I don't know. I'm not some kind of worm master. 
But this guy, look, he's like a secret dude up here. Oh, the old mariner. I got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, lad. Oh gosh, what could it be about? It's marriage. That's how you get married. You have to talk by talk to the strange old man who only appears on rainy days at the beach. This is all completely true. It sounds like I'm making it up, but I'm really not. <laughs> he only appears down there when it's raining. And you can buy a strange amulet of power. And then when you're in love with someone, you give it to them and then they marry you. <laughs> it's... It's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Good lord. Oh gosh, the love dog also loving it as well. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do some of this. Let me make sure the... Yeah, the love dog's doing okay. Just had to... You know, you gotta make sure. Alright. Let's do some of this. Good, good, good. Put some of those in there. We've got all these blueberry wines. It's great when all the wine is, like, perfectly synchronized, but, man, that is really not the case that I have going on right now. That's really not it. Okay. So what else do we have? I've already gotten all of the rainy day fish that I need. Right? Because there are some fish that only come out when it's raining. I could fix up some more of these, like, ultra-powered iridium sprinklers, but I don't know. I don't really have yet big super duper plans for all of this. You'll notice I like pause the game frequently. That's because of the, um, this clock here. I think about roughly like, isn't it 20 minutes in real time is a day when it's, if it's not paused, I think that's about right. And there's one place in the game where time runs slightly slower. All right, go up here. Now I had the science dude in town build me like a shroom hole where all these shrooms appear you get an option to either build the shroom hole or it's just a whole bunch of like you get a bat cave not like the cool batman kind where there's a whole bunch of like weird stuff and a a butler in there it's just like bats will come and leave you fruit <laughs> i don't think i don't know if bats do that i don't know I've never known any bats in real life. I've probably seen a whole lot of them, but I've never really known them. They always leave. <laughs> How sad. Jeez. All right. Let's put this away. Hmm. One of the things I wish he did exist in this game is some way to easily just, like, inject all of these treasure chests with, um items I've collected as I run by. Like, I could just push a button as I'm running up to it, and it's, it just, like, instantly sucks everything out and puts it inside. I don't know. Seems like it would be pretty... pretty dope. Alright. There we go. Now, we could, um... Hmm. We have a lot of options right now, thanks to it being a rainy day. Oh, it's Friday. I need to check the traveling cart. Sometimes there's this secret vendor who appears. I think it's Fridays and Sundays? The secret cool vendor appears down here. And you can buy some extremely overpriced stuff. But that's no problem right now. Because I just have so much money at this point. There you are. Alright. Hey. What have you got? Oak resin. I do actually need that. Let's see. A battery pack that is actually useful. Wow, we're actually, there's actually a lot of decent stuff here. A dark throne. Jeez. Do I need cloth? I don't know if I need cloth. I mean, I could definitely make use of it, but I don't know if I need it. Hmm. For 1.4k? No thanks. Alright. Now before I forget come over here, and there's the secret woods. Oh my gosh, it's even got the secret woods music. And every day here in this secret woods, oh fuck, there's some terrible wretched assholes who appear. But also, 
It's the only place to get respawning hardwood reliably on a daily basis. Except now, there's these cool mahogany seats that got added to the game that I think you can only get from here. Drop from, uh, random drops from these dudes. But, um, you can plant those and it turns into a mahogany tree, which gets you, like, ten hardwood, I think? It used to be that those didn't exist and this was the only place to reliably get hardwood. I think if you also pick the, um, the foraging focused farm, it has some hardwood spawns. Also, by default, your farm will have some, like, logs and stuff. But you need an upgraded axe to even chop through that stuff. All right. Come up and over here. Good, good, good. We could, it is pretty late already, but we could just for the, for the fun of it. Let's see. We could go up and over to the desert. I don't know. It seems ill-advised, but maybe we should. I might want to buy some food, though, from the bar. Because the desert is fairly difficult. I forget what you even need to do to unlock the desert. Oh, you re get the bus, re bus repaired. Yeah, like Pam, um, we talked to her at the beginning. She's the town bus driver, but the bus stop gets, like, shut down and stuff. And by repairing stuff in the community center, it gets fixed up. Oh, we can't do it because Pam's here. Yeah, you can't go at night. Right? Because she has to be there to drive. Right? Oh, shit. Well, we can at least talk to everyone here. There we are. There's just such a plethora of shit to do. It's always good to exhaust everyone's conversations. Because it gets, like, a little bit of relationship points with everyone. And even people who you can't romance have, um little scenes and reasons to get um, your relationship up with them. Like, see, poor Willie here. He, he has such odd hours and he's always out by the ocean because he's like the town fisherman lord. And I hardly ever run into him when I have like a whole bunch of gifts at hand. And I don't even really know what he likes. I don't know. One time I accidentally gave him some bait because I was trying to load up a crab pot with bait. And he fucking hated it. He just, like... He got so mad, he threw it on the ground and stomped on it, and then he screamed at me and... shoved me right into the ocean. It was awful. Willie. And that's why he hates me now. And he'll he'll just stare at me every morning when I go out to the... to the... to the piers and... check my crab pots, and some days he'll... Willie will be such a fucking dick. I don't like him sometimes when he does that. He'll, like, he'll play a prank on me. He'll play a, a real funny joke. He'll, like, hey, Willie's gonna put a big pile of shit inside your crab pot. <laughs> what do you think of that, farmer? What do you think of that? I think it sucks, Willie. Willie, I hate it. Why would you shit in my crab pot? Willie doesn't care, though. He just has a fucking laugh. Fucking Willie. What a guy. But that's why, you know what? I need to try and get on his good side. I've seen this man shit. The least I could do is like, you know, every now and then give him what? A sunflower? I like that. <laughs> Things get wild in Stardew Valley. <laughs> good lord. Let's see. We can load this up with an eggplant. Turn into some sort of foul eggplant juice. Sounds awful. Alright. Up here. Now, cranberry juice. That's okay. Or maybe it's cranberry wine since it's a fruit. Ferments. Okay. There we are. Deposit this. Let's see. Should I take all these rocks back out? Yeah. I've just got so many of them, huh? Alright. Pop that in there. You can color code your chest as well, but I haven't I haven't done such a thing. Probably something I'll move into doing in like year two, once I have more automation. Because in your first year, especially in the first couple of, or first two or three months, you're just rushing around trying to get shit done left and right. 
That said, the time constraints aren't super important, but there's just so much to occupy yourself with. It's wild. All right. But I think the important thing is to never let it, like, get overly stressful or whatever, because, you know, it's supposed to be a nice, relaxing time. Oh, shit, there are no trees up here, huh? Okay. Well, I chopped them down already. You know, I haven't explored a whole lot up here. At least in this file yet. They added in, like, a whole new area, like a... Some sort of tropical island that you could go to. I'm not sure what you have to do to do it. It's been teased a little bit that once you repair the community center, then you're good to go. I believe you can even do that if you side with, um... Joja Mart, which is like kind of the big ongoing narrative in the town. And a lot of characters will have similar ties to it, like, oh, I came to Stardew Valley to escape my life in the city, or, oh, shoot, I live in Stardew Valley, but still this sort of like, I don't know, hellish corporate life has followed me here, or I'm kind of still sucked into doing all this trash. And it's just a, a fucking rough time. And you can choose to side either with the town, in a way, the more, like, wildlife side of of the valley, with the, the weird spirit creatures, the little Junimo dudes. Or you can side with the giant mega corporation. <laughs> and you can, uh, I think it, the goals are completely different then. I think if you side with the corporation, I think instead of like these bundles where they're just like a whole bunch of different things, I think it's just money. I think it's just however you want, just get a shitload of money, right? Which is actually probably the easier of the two, right? Because with the... With that, you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I need to work on my fishing. I need to go catch these fish. It's this time of year. It's a, it's raining today. I need to get this done and that and so on, so on and so forth. Oh. But yeah, at the end of the day, you turn in and you get all your sweet money. My God. Pumpkin juice is worth 1.8K. Or not 1.8, but 1,000. With this, uh, perk. Jeez. Pumpkins, huh? Okay. That's outrageous. I got, like, 20-something pumpkins ready to go and get juiced. If anything, we need to get more juice machines, right? I wonder if there's anything that you spend a shitload of money on in the new endgame or whatever. I have no, no idea. Let's see here. What have we got? Hmm... What does it take to make more of these kegs? Where are they even at? Over here. We need iron, copper, and oak resin. But today is the festival, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure this huge-ass pumpkin will will remain, right? Well, speaking of other things that kind of happen on a more rare basis over here. Oh, look. My oak resin trees are prepared. Check it out. I got a shroomage over here, dude. You can actually put a tap on it and get shrooms every so often. I don't know how frequently, though. I never had the wherewithal way back when, when I first got one, to put a tap on it. This is very much the sort of game that you'll have a wiki open while you play or something, right? go. Pet the animals. Give them some food. There we are. Should probably show off, like, the fun names and stuff that I've given them, right? That's something you should do. Let's see. Should I deposit this? Good. Get the cheese, and let's see. Pull this out of here. I believe the goat you also milk, right? I think so. The music great, I think. There we go. Milk a cow. Oh. 
Philip is too young to produce milk. I thought it'd be fun to name the, the goat Philip. Although you can't have like a black goat, you know. Hey, gotta have Philip the goat. Cal, named Cheddar, you know, very fitting, very much into animal names that are food. In fact, I think this time around, all my animals are named after food, except for my dog, which of course, named Gordon. <laughs> Let's see, up here. And of course, when we do get a, a what do you call it, a, a horse, that's what they're called. Those, those beasts, <laughs> those creatures, those strange mystical beings. Whenever we get one of those, we're going to call it Mabel. I don't know if you can fit prior Mabel in it. We may just have to settle for Mabel. I tried to do something last time in my last save file, but for whatever reason, I got pulled off of playing the game. I forgot something must have come up or whatever. All right. Let's see. We're good to go. Let's throw all this in. You can also um, throw honey inside of these kegs and make mead. Surprisingly, you can make, like, different kinds of alcohol. You can make, like, pale ales and beer. But, um, I think the mead is always the same. It, it doesn't change value depending on what sort of source honey you use. So, like, we got fairy rose honey because I've got fairy roses growing right next to the, the hives here. So they suck on that, and then they poop out honey in there. It's really nice. There we are. And usually what I'll do is I'll just toss out well in this case how much is a is a gold star pumpkin worth it couldn't be worth more than a thousand could it i'll sell one because i might just like pumpkins are so good for turning into juice like holy hell we'll just save it for the winter and juice up all these pumpkins right? That just makes sense to me. All right, sell that off. And then, ooh, let's throw those in there. Let's see, we could also fix up a whole bunch of iron. We need that, don't we? Yeah, because we need to make a whole bunch of kegs. There we go. Smelt those inside. But yeah, this is very much like my relaxing podcast game. I'll, like, listen to a podcast, I'll do farming, I'll chat up people and all that stuff. I'll see the numbers go up. Custom design the farm a little bit, move stuff around. You can really just, like, design the hell out of it. Maybe before we sign out of this, we should take a look at my old save. I haven't even looked at it, honestly. It's all just, like, a faint memory. Let's see here. These still need some watering. It's a big deal to automate your uh, your watering, right? Because it costs energy here. See in the bottom right? Um, at first, I think it starts out like 200-something, but you find various uh, star drops or whatever they're called. I forget. But they increase your maximum energy and health gauge. Health fur, if you're doing combat. But um, that's very useful. Very good stuff. And early on, you just fly through your energy, right? Because you have to do everything manually. So I always thought that one of the, like, best things to do, even if you are wanting to farm a whole bunch, is to actually hit up the mines early on and at least get some of these basic sprinklers going. Because they're not too bad. The only trouble is you can't, like, deconstruct them or whatever once you've uh, built them. So it's kind of just, like, you know, wasted resources but by the time you get to that point it's not too bad it's usually worth it right because you save so much energy yeah it uses iron and gold and refined quartz refined quartz you would think would be pretty rare but eh, it's not too bad pet my chicken other one here oh, i forgot yeah my chickens you get um different colored eggs depending on the color of the chicken's feathers I don't think that's true to life, but uh, in Stardew Valley it is. I named them after different nuts. <laughs> Peanuts and... Peanut and Walnut. I don't know why. It didn't really match with the chicken theme, but... Uh, I don't know. I was eating walnuts. Alright. Let's see. Stash that up in there. 
Let's throw some of this cheese in. Oh, look, all of these have finished. But do we care yet? Do we care? Hmm, I don't think so. Let's go back into town. Let's speak with Pam. Because as you can see, I forgot if we touched on this, you can talk to everyone in town once per day and it slightly nudges up their friendship meter. Right? So you can see characters that like, like right now I haven't gone out of my way really for anyone. Even though I am planning on romancing Maru and like marrying her. Um, it, it just so happened that she's a character that is frequently like on my paths early on. So like as we move down here, there's characters that like, oh, I hardly ever run into these people. Sebastian, he should be up there, but he's so um, reclusive, right? Yeah. Weirdly, uh, actually, George, he's pretty easy to get into contact with because he's he's always almost always at home. All right. But yeah, you can talk to everyone once per day and that nudges it up and then you can give everyone a gift twice per week, which can really amp it up because there are lots of different gifts. Some some I mean, like, like I said, it's it's kind of one of those games that you have a wiki wiki open and you refer to as you play because everyone has different shit that they like. There are a few universal things in the game that just everybody likes or loves and will always get you high points with them, right? But usually those things you want to keep for yourself because they're just that good. Okay, should we check out mining? No, let's check out the town real quick because I forgot. Is today the spirit festival? I think it is, right? So like this evening, yeah, it's being set up. Okay, holy hell. Okay. So let's go to the desert, I guess, real quick. And tend to some stuff there. It costs 500 Quatlus, but we're at a point where 500 is no problemo. Ideally, I would like to get to... Having earned 1 million by the end of year 2. Because there's a fun little event that occurs at your grandfather's shrine. Um, at the end of year two and the beginning of year three and it'll get you a fun little bonus it's not super important and if you miss the deadline um, like i said it's a super chill and relaxing game there is a very simple ass way to get it to occur again i don't know i i just like the idea of uh getting it the first time right okay let's see let's see these little worms here sometimes there's some sort of cool amazing artifact let's see Sandy was a potential romance that there was like a big community vote on. But instead of voting for Sandy, there was um there was Pam, there was Sandy, there was Marnie, and there was Emily that you could have voted for for the Bachelorettes. I forget for the Bachelors. I think it was Clint Linus. What's his name who runs the bar, I think? And Shane. And people voted on Shane, which I think was the right pick there. Shane is, in my opinion, the more interesting character. Because even before he was a bachelor that you could romance, I thought Shane was like, holy shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the misery, right? He's a very sad and depressed character. Like how I was talking about, um, there's some characters in the valley, in the town, who are like super fucking bummed out. And like, the world has got them ultra depressed and shit. He is like the epitome of that. Right. But I would have loved Sandy to have won. I don't know. No hate, no no shade on Emily, but I don't know. Sandy would have been where it's at, in my opinion. All right. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis, the number one destination in Calico Desert. Thanks. Did I sound professional? Make sure to check out our seasonal seat collection. You look really thirsty. Here, have a taste of this ice cold milk. Where did you get this from? Tasty, huh? Wow, she talks a lot. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. And they sell, like, weird, unique things up here. In the desert. I don't know. I say up, but I don't know the world map. Right? The desert. Oh, yeah, it is. The desert does show up here. Hey, where does the island show up? The new island that got added. Oh, I don't know. It's not here. Huh. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. All right. And there's these fun little shrines that you can interact with. You'll be able to get, like, some sort of shrine totem. Once you go there. This dude, 
sells some amazing stuff, but although it is amazing, it's not amazing enough for these prices. Holy shit. This guy wants 333 geodes for a magic cowboy hat that changes colors. I mean, that's... We're talking, like, some real endgame shit. Ten iridium bars for this recipe? And the recipe itself costs iridium. Whew. Dude, you're breaking my balls. Look, an artifact trove? I didn't even know that was in the game. <laughs> I didn't even know that existed. Was that new? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's go on up over here. Now, this is like the harder dungeon. It's not the end game anymore, but it's tougher. There's no, like, spoilers or anything. I don't I don't know if anything could really be spoiled in this game. It's just a... It's just a nice, relaxing time, right? There we go. There are some little hidden secrets, but, um, I don't know. I, I found out about them on my own, and, like, it was more... There was more joy in experiencing the secret myself, right? It's a game sort of about, like, you know, the little things. Just, just having a nice little fucking time on your farm or doing whatever. You could just mine up a whole bunch of stuff if you want to, do the combat and all that. Good lord, we're having some rotten luck in here. So these things, you, you'll notice there on my right, my energy gauge is slowly depleting with each swing of my pick. There we go. And occasionally, depending on your luck, which is a stat, uh, you'll find passage down or even holes that you can jump down get you deeper in the mine here we go this fucking thing they deal so much these like weird like mustachioed zucchini dudes I don't know what they're called I think they're called like serpent dragons or something I don't know here we are but the cool thing about this dungeon is that the deeper you go the better stuff you'll find, and it is limitless in how deep it goes. The first one seems like it might be limitless and does keep to the same idea, but it has like a checkpointing system to where like every five floors you get a checkpoint and you can come back the next day or whatever to that uh, multiple of five, which is pretty nice and all that, right? You get a nice early sense of progression and all that, but here, this is like, I don't know, cool dude challenge zone but the deeper you go the more valuable stuff you start to find and one of the neat little tricks that you can do is with all the rocks that you find and dig up or you can even just buy them right once you get filthy rich you just buy a whole bunch of rocks and turn those into over here staircases which take you down one level per staircase so as you can see it takes 99 stone which is a butt ton so you really run through stone. So honestly, I think most people who, who go this route... Um, I, I can't even remember if I did this in my first playthrough, my first uh, save. Most people buy it from Robin once you have loads and loads of money and you don't really have anything else to spend it on. Right? You'll buy that and you'll come all the way down to like some of the lowest levels of this mine. And uh, oh shit. And you'll, uh, you'll just find loads of the valuable ore. It's great. Dude, these things suck. Oh, gosh. They suck so much. I died, um, one time to them. And it was hellish. I lost, like, I don't even know, some real valuable stuff. And thankfully, holy shit, thankfully in one of the updates they made it to where you can, um, add in, or purchase the items that you lose when you die because you lose like a few items and money whenever you die in the dungeon or whatever but thankfully with that update they made it to where you can buy it back it still is a huge penalty because it feels like at least the items when you buy them back are ultra overpriced but um holy shit one time in my first playthrough I legit lost the fucking endgame sword this super like powerful purple one I fucking lost it in the dungeon. I was like, eh, you know what? I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. There we go. Good God. Good God. 
<laughs> Very important to bring food with you if uh, if you need to, because thankfully, everything pauses when you go to eat. Here we are. Good, good, good. And of course, as you upgrade your pick and all that, um, it becomes more efficient, it takes fewer swings, and it uses up less of your energy. Tricky thing about jumping down these holes, right? And this only, holes only ever occur in this dungeon. When you jump down, sometimes you'll fall so far, it'll hurt you. I don't think you can ever die from it, though. But you can be, like, borderline death. Let's see. Let's jump in. Rusty Reckman says, Dude, I played the shit out of this on iPhone. Totally fucked up my wrist, but it was super fun. I know, holy shit. I have so much time in this game. I've... I, well, not, not as much as some folks, but... Definitely over 200 hours. For what this is... Oh my god! Speak of the devil, 15 levels. Am I dead? No, okay. Okay, see? 15 levels, it didn't kill us. We're fine, we're still alive. Holy hell. What's my... What was my luck today? Did, did I check for today or was it yesterday? I don't even remember. There we go. And there are, like, a surprising amount of mods for this game. It's, oh, shit. Oh, shit, we got dickhead patrol up here. <laughs> there are ranged weapons, but I don't know. I don't fuck with that. There we are. Good. Oh, oh shit. I'm actually at the floor now where I start getting bats in this dungeon. Wow, look at them all! Look at them all! There's so many bats here! Oh, Shazbot. Thankfully, this sword swings so fast. Alright. How much time do I have? Usually, I think this dungeon you can leave about, like, 1 a.m. and still make it back home in time. There's, like, some sort of weird spooky ghost. It doesn't even make noise when you attack it. That's how, like, powerful it is. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. There we go. Oh, hey. Got me an Omni Geode. Rusty Reckman says, 15 levels. Holy shit. Have you ever watched the Habu speedrun this game? I have not. I haven't watched anyone speedrun this. I know um, folks will, like, power through this dungeon with bombs and staircases. Which I'm kind of saving up for. I've got, like, a small amount of bombs and all that at the ready. In case I want to just get a whole bunch of iridium. Oh, look at that. Man, my luck must be decent today. In game day, I should say. It's like a random roll every time. Or is it random or seeded? Because there is a seed that you can enter at the beginning. And that may determine it. I don't, I don't know. There we go. Good. Alright. Up here. Oh, look. We actually got iridium from some of those slimes. The best thing when you're finding that big slime is if it's, like, up against the wall, right? There we go. Wow, already? Jeez, this must be, like, a high luck day or something. I didn't even intend on it. If I knew what the hell I was doing, I, I should have brought some bombs. Look, we even have this weird thing. Oh, it only had gold. Oh, no, it had some iridium. I'll take that. Good. These dudes. I don't think these dudes can die. I think you just knock them out. They're like, um, your Castlevania red skeletons. Uh-oh. There we are. Good. Oh, shoot. What floor are we on? 25? Yeah, I think there's a special thing that you get the first time you come through here and you get to floor 25 or 20. I can't remember. I haven't yet gotten the invite to go talk to the guy who gives you that special quest or whatever. Oh, shit. I should take out this actual dinosaur. Charges up its dinosaur blast. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> What's up with that? Is that how they sounded? Isn't there some debate, like, people who say that, like, they don't know... No one's entirely 100% positive 
how dinosaurs sounded. It's just like, oh my god! I'm going to get murdered! Oh! I'm leaving. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> good lord, I don't have enough food. I'm too, <laughs> I'm too scared. I got too much good stuff. <laughs> Good lord. That was that was the death floor. That was that was where I would die. My life flashed before my very eyes. At the beginning when we went in there, how I was talking about that, had had flashbacks to when it happened. <laughs> it's like, oh god, I'm gonna lose my galaxy sword again. <laughs> Good lord. Let's see. Rusty Reckman says, What are you trying to accomplish? Have you already completed the community center on this file? I have not completed the community center yet. Oh look. But yeah, I kind of want to get everything and experience the new stuff. They added the new island and all that. Love to see- Oh shit, it's- it's the festival day! Oh my god, I completely forgot. Oh my god. Look, it's still time. We still have time. Oh my gosh, I got so carried away in the fucking mines. Look, it's a boon that this happened. Holy shit. This was almost a complete disaster. But thankfully, we got scared of a whole bunch of, like, weird snake things. There we go. Oh shit! Oh, it hasn't. Oh, it starts at 10 p.m. Oh. All right. Let's go over here. Let's see. Let's put all this stuff inside. Let's see here. I need. What should I juice up? Or no, not juice, but pickle. I'll pickle some yams. People love pickled yams, right? That sounds foul. Oh, look. Spirit's Eve has begun. Excellent. Alright. Let's see. Deposit this. We should save the milk to churn, right? The rest of it will deposit. I think we still have plenty of time. I don't know what time of day it ends. Let's see. Rusty Reckman says, getting strawberries? This must be the summer fest? No, this is autumn. Yeah. <laughs> We're pretty late into this. This is year one autumn. All right, here we go. Cool. And whenever you're at these fun events in town, they occur like, there's usually like, oh, geez. Thanks. Thanks for subbing Milf Sword. Holy cow. Two months overall. Geez, appreciate that. But um, there's like... I would say two of these events every every month, every season. I think maybe there's a point where you get a third one that occurs. I don't know. In year two, there's like some new sort of um, fun rare item shop or whatever that comes into town every so often in year two, I think now. But I'm not sure. But anyway, they added it into where there's a shop now every year or every event. I think... Um, it used to be that this always did have a shop, uh, this event. But there were definitely some that did not have shops, and I'm almost positive they got added in. Which is fun, right? Should I just buy everything? Look, I got the money now. Yeah, why not? Why not? There we go. Alright. But yeah, these things are so neat, I think. Here, let's turn up the music a little bit, right? I think the music is so surprisingly good. Like I said, all done by, like, one dude. At least in 1.0, right? Let's see, Marnie. Hi, Lyle. Have you had a productive fall? It's starting to get quite cold. Uh, crops won't hold out for much longer. But, uh, Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. Eek, I'm too scared. I, I really do not care for Haley. I know she, like, if you choose to romance her, she's one of the bachelorettes. She has, like, a huge change of heart. But I ain't here for that. <laughs> I ain't here for that. All right. Marlin, don't get too close to the cage. Marlin's cool and mysterious. I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy. It's pretty cool, though, because they're alive. This is Shane. Why is there no more pumpkin ale? Yeah, there's some... Shane gets into some dark shit. Clint. One of my iridium-infused maces would make quick work of these things. Here's Robin. Oh. I wish Robin weren't married. 
<laughs> I wish she was on that list of uh, people we could have voted for as a community. <laughs> when I first uh, started playing this, before I, I like looked up uh, all the different people in the game that like you can you can marry and stuff, I was like, "Ooh, can I just can I just marry anyone?" Ooh, <laughs> I like Robin, the town carpenter. She's cool. She lives right next door. But no, she's married to Demetrius. <laughs> well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile wood and stone. I haven't seen Maru in hours. I hope she's all right. Gus, I always forget his name. I guess because I often don't see him a lot, like I said at the beginning. There's just NPCs I don't usually see a whole lot because of um, my character's route in the first year or so. It's a lot of fun to cook with pumpkins, such an interesting fruit. But usually around like year two or three, I come to see Gus a whole lot because, you know, you got a lot of money, you can buy a lot of food from him. Why, hello, Lyle. It's chilly, isn't it? That guy's totally from Symphony of the Night. Imagine him speaking like Alucard. I'll come to any event with free grub. You won't see me in the haunted maze, though. Good evening, Lyle. Have you ventured into the haunted maze yet? It's quite spooky. That strange man who lives in the tower set it all up himself. He wouldn't let anyone near while he was working on it. He's talking about the wizard. Mother won't let me go in the maze. Ooh. Poor kid. And this is Emily, the new one who people voted on to romance, right? Do you like the jack-o'-lanterns? I carved them myself. She's okay. Let's see. Have we fully investigated everything down here? Yeah, I think so. You can't interact with any of the food here, right? Nah. It is neat how there's, how there's all the cool little events and stuff in town. I don't know. I'm a sucker for that stuff. All right. Oh, jeez, I've fallen behind on chat. Rusty Reckman says, be sure to get the hidden pumpkin from the maze. Oh, definitely. Metal Bending says, role-playing is a home wrecker. Shane the alcoholic, yeah. Shulk Beetle says, I really need to replay this game eventually at some point. I know, right? The, the new update has gotten me to replay it. Oh, here's Maru. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. I'm lost. Poor Maru. Oh, you found me! The truth is, I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. Poor Harvey. He's a nice guy, but a, a dingus. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I remember how to navigate this thing. I remember my first time playing this. I got fucking stuck in the maze, and I just kept trying to figure out how the fuck to get through, and I refused to look up how to do it <laughs> until I eventually figured it out. Yeah, I was like, I went to go and eat. I, I like made dinner or whatever for myself. And <laughs> before I finally figured it out, I was just like, how the hell do I get through here? I'm never going to shut this game down until I figure it out. Penny, the vapor from this cauldron, it's making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. Poor Penny. She's also a romanceable character in this. Honestly, I don't know. I think a lot of the, I don't know. I feel like the bachelorettes are of higher caliber than most of the, most of the bachelors. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's cause I'm biased, right? Alex, there's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? There's gotta be a secret passage around, around somewhere around here. This is who I was talking about earlier with, um, with some of the relationships, how you can have, um, like homosexual relationships alex actually has like really interesting uh unique dialogue for that it's really cool and interesting shit with his parents because he lives with his his grandfather and grandmother and like they have to come around to it i don't know i thought it was very it felt very sincere and interesting i didn't actually go through any of any of, like all right my dark admission I'm romancing Maru this time. I've only ever romanced Maru. Every time. 
<laughs> I've only ever looked up other characters' stuff. I'll look them up and like all the things that they say and be like, hmm, yes. Who should I romance this time? Oh, perhaps Maru again. <laughs> I don't know how many people will play this in just like every file. He's <laughs> just like, ah, I'm just gonna romance the same character. <laughs> all right. I can't go on spiders. And I know Abigail is like a humongous favorite, right? Among many folks who play. Let's see. Up here. That's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. I could have sworn there was uh, someone ahead of me when I went through the maze, though. Where'd they go? Sam is okay, but you know who's more interesting than Sam? His fucking dad. His dad isn't even in the game until year two. When he comes back from fucking war. It's so fucking wild. I was like, holy shit, this game is actually covering this shit. This guy who's like seen some shit and like, you need to, I don't know. It's He's not also like a complete asshole. It's just like, yeah, I'm fucking, I've seen some shit. I'm fucking sad about it and shit, right? Look, I've totally remembered how to do this. Look at me, look at me go. Oh, figured it out. Nailed it. Look at that. Golden pumpkin. Give me that. I can't remember. Do you get a golden pumpkin every year? I think so. I never sell it. Oh, look. Hey, Linus and the wizard know e Oh, whoa. Can I hear them? No. Wow. You could theoretically speak to them somehow. Okay. Well, maybe not really. Hmm. I didn't know that the wizard and, and Linus knew each other. I think Linus is one of the first characters that uh, most players will have like an endearing moment with. With him like um, taking food from the bar's garbage or whatever. And there, there's like a really nice, sweet, endearing moment with him. Let's see. Up and over here. Cool, I think we got everything. Honestly, as, as cool as a lot of this is, this is actually one of the least involved holiday events in the game, I think, right? The maze is very neat, right? But after you've done it one time, I guess, <laughs> case in point, you've done it a lot. <laughs> All right. There we go. Leave the Spirit's Eve. Once you do, the festival will, will end. Okay, see ya. Nailed it. There we go. Okay, should I do anything with these cool jack-o'-lanterns? Maybe I'll put one up here. Oh, I can't. Can I can I put it right there? Have it be like Halloween or whatever. There we go. Been playing, um, what do you call it? The... Uh, what's the name of that fucking game? Dead by Daylight with my girlfriend. I get so scared playing that game. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the first to say it. I get so scared playing that. I, I psych myself out so much good lord but um we'll play it together with her and some of her friends and all that it's fun but my god <laughs> i'm like screaming and shit while we're playing jeez let's see hmm we should probably deposit these jack-o-lanterns we do have some time i don't know how often the shroomages in here take they seem to be fairly quick right maybe they buffed the speed that's what i feel like but i don't know maybe i've just grown accustomed to it who can say all right let's see i should put this this milk on the cheese machine oh god i'm cutting it close aren't i we're getting risky okay you know what i'm not i'm not even gonna attempt it i'm too scared <laughs> i don't want to fall asleep at 2 a.m., you collapse from exhaustion. All right. Let's just check this real quick. Weather report. Why not? It's going to be beautiful. I love that. Pet Gordon. Gordon loves you. Thank you, Gordon. There we are. Oh, my gosh. We got mining up to 10. What did I even mine? Oh, we went to the... Wow, we, we did a lot. We went to the... um. What do you call a place? All right. Hmm. What would we prefer? I think chance to find geodes is doubled is more ideal, right? I think that's preferable. I think. 
especially at a point where we don't super duper need money where like most of our money is going to come from artisanal goods yeah geodes let's see what was our big amount oh look yeah it was from the fairy rose honey which was almost one grand a pop jeez bok choy also kind of valuable yeah bok choy is more valuable than corn i would have never guessed i've never had bok choy in real life i remember my mom like boiling or steaming it and it seemed awful <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> all right let's go on up here all right Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish. Yo, the Queen of Sauce looks like some kind of fucking alien. Artichoke dip. This is a delightful way to get more artichokes into your body. Personally, I don't even dip anything in there. I just guzzle the sauce down like it's a milkshake. Delicious. Oh, that is foul. Oh my god. All right, which I guess is what you do, right? That's okay. Yeah, that's them making fun of the fact that in this game that if you ate it, that's what you would do. You can't dip food and stuff. You would have to guzzle it. Oh, look, good humor. It's a beautiful sunny day. Oh, well, it's winter. It doesn't matter. All right. Let's see here. Is there anything else I need to collect? I'm just going to let these plants die. Let's see. May as well grab these. Our fairy rose. Hmm. Should I sell off this high value one? I guess so. Chickens. Oh, look, she's in here doing her work. Be patient. I still have a lot of work to do. Thanks, Robin. There we are. Good. Okay. Over here. Oh shit. Hey, Dreams of Vinny. Jeez, thanks for the sub. Wow, five months overall. Good lord. Has it been that long? I guess so. Yeah, jeez. Thank you, nonetheless. Oh, look. Goats and stuff. Philip is having a good time. Let's try and milk him. There we are. Throw some milk in there. Cheese it. Oh man, Philip is still not making milk. All right, let's not figure out how Philip is making milk to begin with, but you know, <laughs> thanks, Philip. There we are. Throw that up there. Good. Hmm. I feel like I should really. Oh look. Jack lanterns are used in crafting? Is that new? What do you craft with jack lanterns? Or is it just that it's a result of crafting? Jeez, I don't even know. What do you do with it? And what is this cookout kit? Is this new? Using this, use this to create a cooking campfire allowing you to cook on the go. Oh. Okay. Hmm. What do I need to make this worm bin? I should probably do that at some point. Start farming up a bunch of wormulons. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What all have we got here? I think cranberries are surprisingly valuable, I want to say. Oh, shit. This is clogged up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we do need to make more of these things. Kegs. I need copper and oak resin. Do I? How much copper do I have? Eh, I've got a decent amount. I can ma make even more. There we go. And oak resin. And I needed these battery packs for... Oh, for the uh, iridium sprinklers. Okay. Let's make a whole bunch of kegs. I do need to cook up more iron or copper. There we go. Good. I need to stow this pumpkin. 
just as well. Jeez, it's getting to be time for another treasure chest around here. Ugh. Let's see. Throw that in there. What else could I do? That. Oh, wait, that's not a full stack. I thought that was $9.99. We don't need the bok choy because it's the last day. No sense in that. Throw the pumpkin in there. Good. Okay. And let's cook up a whole bunch of these kegs. Oh, look, we can make eight. Perfect. Good, good, good. And eventually we'll move all these kegs into a shed. Just for the time being, you know, we gotta work with what we have. Alright. Did I build this up against the wall? Oh, here you go, Gordon. Alright. Good. Let's see here. Fortunately, you don't have to give Gordon water or food every day. Or your dog. <laughs> your dog or cat. I don't know how that works out, but hey, it's nice. Maybe they find their own food on the farm or whatever, right? And there is this nice little pond. Okay. Still need some more iron. Do I have any more just laying around somewhere? Hmm. Look at this. What a mess. What a fucking mess. Alright. Hmm. Very much how it is, though, in the early... In, like, year one, at least always for me it's just it's just a mess of, of stuff because you're running around left and right you really don't have time to be organizing stuff okay that said it does pause time when you're in this ui useful enough do i have any iron i don't think i do maybe it's time to bust open all these fucking rocks huh maybe that's what it's time for Let's deposit those. Okay. Up here. What have we got? I'll take that. Hmm. I do have this extra milk. Hmm. How did I get another milk? I don't even know. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any more geodes? There. Okay. Up here. Geodes. Let's see. I'm guessing geodes would appear at the top left, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, copper's done. There you are. Throw that in. Oh my god! Jeez, Milf Sword! Gifting five different subs to people. Holy wackadoo! Jeez, thanks. Holy crap, appreciate that. Jesus, it's gone out all over town. All over the land. Oh my god, thank you. Jeez. Appreciate that. We're just having like a relaxing time in the old Stardew Valley and people are popping shit off. Dreams of Any says, hey, and gave me a heart earlier as well. Milf Sword says, love your shit, bud. Thank you. All right. We need to check in in town, right? Here we go. Oh, we, oh, hey, Pam. Check it out, Pam. Look, today I got you something. I know Pam is not a complicated woman. She appreciates a good beer. But you know what? I'm sorry, Pam. I sold it all. Oh, shit. I forgot to... <laughs> I'm so used to just clicking through it and reading it myself because I'm not used to streaming this. I should be reading it aloud. You should be thankful that you have a job rather than moping around town all the time. Yeah, especially one so, like, fulfilling and all that. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. Alright. A lot of, um... In real life, a lot of private farmers have it fucking tough these days, right? A lot of them being replaced by, like, these big... Mega corporate-driven farms, right? Who will, like, buy out their land and stuff, so that way the big corporate farm has more room and all that. Very similar to the main uh, through line in Stardew Valley, right? <laughs> With the Joja Mart shit, right? You could be a Joja mega corporate farm. Okay. Let's see. We need to go down to what's his butt? Town. There we are. 
Hey, Clint. Don't you have work to do? I do. This is my work. Look, I'm here. To give you a beautiful flower. Does he like them? I don't know if he does. <laughs> I don't think he does. Man, come on, Clint. Everyone else loves these things. Everyone else I've met loves these fucking fairy flowers. All right. They're like literally magic, dude. Poor Clint. He's kind of depressed, too. He has like crippling anxiety. He's nowhere near as depressed as Shane, though. My god. Fucking Shane is like a Disco Elysium character, honestly. There we are. Again, all sorts of weird stuff. I hope some of it's good. Sometimes you'll get Iridium out of these. Also, I did check. I, th I was very curious about whether or not your luck determined what you get out of this. Not the case. You would think it would be, but no. Luck determines how many of these you'll find, these geodes. But not what you get out of them. So even if you're having a rotten luck day... Oh, look, yeah, a lot of these are good. We got at least three new ones? Yeah. Three new ones for Gunther. One of the things that I will say is that Gunther is terribly an underserved character. You would think that this museum dude would have more to say and be like a fully fleshed out towns person. But he just kind of chills out here. I don't know. Sometimes he'll talk to you, but meh. I've, as you can see, I've not read any of the books in this file. <laughs> All right. I feel like they added more books. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping balls, though. Oh, shit. Robin's project. It's the final. D oh, no. I'm sorry, Robin. I fucked up. Oh, God. And I already handed over all the wood. Oh, shit. I'm the ultimate fool. What will happen? I've never failed one of these yet. This is like the new mission thing. Hey, Penny. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. Jeez, poor Penny. I've never been to the forest. It's muddy and I could get a blister on my foot. It's true. I always thought that this was this image of Penny, that sprite there, was her like being sad, kind of moping around underneath the tree. But she's reading a purple book. That's what she's doing. I thought that was like her dress or skirt or something, but it's her book. All right. Let's see. We already gave all of our shit to Gunther. The traveling cart is in town. Dude, we completely bombed this this thing. I blame Spirit's Eve. That's what I blame it on. Survival burger. Yeah, that's like fucking most burgers I eat. <laughs> I'm like starving. Yeah, let's hit up the McDonald's drive through I need a fucking survival burger. <laughs> I'm about to die. <laughs> Let me get that survival burger. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on up here. I don't even care if the order is slightly incorrect. I'll take the onions if I have to. Alright. There we go. We could, like, super grow this mahogany. Yo, could we do that? <gasps> could it be a reality? Oh my god. Rapid growth. Even in winter. Does Do you need time to pass? Oh, dude. That may be our key. We'll have to see. Maybe I can engage in some, like, super mutant mahogany. Oh shit, and I still have some trash laying around the farm. <gasps> I may yet be able to accomplish this. Oh my god. We may have just encountered some sort of like amazing saving grace. Whew, it's gonna be difficult. We might be able to pull it off through a miracle. Alright. 
Dude, you know what? Also, it's got to be said, what is up with this cool pig? What is up with that cool pig? It's wearing a little hat. It's got, like, pig goggles on. My God. All right. What's going up here? Oh, yeah, look. This super log. It's got some hardwood inside of it. Dude, we might be able to pull it off. I don't know. Look at that. We got eight. <gasps> Is it possible? Could I somehow save this shit? And not disappoint Robin? Oh, shit. Look, I knew it was a good idea to leave all this trash here. Oh, my God. Is there enough? Definitely not from this, but depending on how the tree fertilizer functions, I haven't used it yet. If it, like, insta makes it fly up into the air. But if, it, if I have to wait at once, like, every night or whatever to advance at a stage, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm just completely screwed. I hope there's not, like, a sad cutscene where she's like, Oh, no. Farmer Lyle in Autumndale Farm really let me down this time. Okay, here we go. It's time. Good. Let's plant this thing right here. Good. Oh, I've already pet peanut. There we are. Should I... Yeah, let's throw some iron in there now. Great. Okay, peanut, you better not eat that. I don't know if you can eat that, but I hope you cannot. Fiber. Okay. Where is my fiber? There it is. I think I've got more somewhere else as well. Okay, we need more rocks as well. Good. Okay. Let's just... Let's make like five of these, huh? Let's see. What'll happen? What'll even happen? I've never messed with this before. Have like a fun experiment. There we go. Look, if we can do it through this... Holy shit. <gasps> it changed color. Oh no, we're fucked! We're fucked! We're fucked! We're fucked! Okay. <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm sorry, Robin. Is there anywhere else I can get hardwood from? Is there anywhere else? I don't think so. We could try the dungeon. But the odds are not in our favor at all. And I don't even know if it counts if we do it from that. Shit. We have to try. We have to try. I, I already cleaned out the secret forest. Let's see. Let's go over to the mines. Let's see. What can drop... Hardwood. Hmm. I think mostly... Shit, I don't even know. Some of the creatures down here, I think, can drop it. And I know some of the containers. There's no way. There's no way we can do it. We're, we're completely screwed. At the very least, we go in here in mind, hey, maybe I'll kill some creatures for the creature kill count. Maybe. Look, this dude... What even are you? You look like a Mario creature. Dreams of any sand. Those trunks make satisfying bonks. Yeah, I think a lot of the, like, sound effects sound... I don't know. Very satisfying. Oh, jeez. Like, especially picking up loot? I don't know. I love the little... I love that. Let's see. Up here. Nothing. We should just go down a level. Cut our losses. Forget the fire bat. Let's see. Get you. My god, I'm like annihilating them. It's 
been a while since I was here fighting these dudes. Jeez, they still kind of hurt me, though. Uh-oh. Satan has come. Oh, shit. The ultimate showdown. I'm going to put my salad on the bar. Ooh, look at me go. Holy shit. It's like I'm playing Doom again. There we go. Oh, jeez. Good. Get back here, dude! There we go, great. I think there's more bats coming. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. All right, let's eat just in case we're playing it safe. Because the worst case would be, like, we come in here to get stuff, but we end up dying. And we lose, like, I don't know, some sort of amazing item. There we go. Ugh. Just a carrot. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. It can't be done. It can't be done. Oh, you know what else gives hardwood? Sometimes it'll uh, appear from... What do you call it? Items from fishing crates fishing treasure that you fish up I don't think we've shown fishing yet in the stream I don't think we've done that there we go good ooh feels feels fucking amazing when you get a crit you just one shot them all right go. Anything over here? I'm just going to ignore this dude. Oh shit, that's a living crab. I need that thing. Or a living rock crab. It's a living crab. Most of them undead. There we go. Get one of these. May as well. Oop. Nine thirty, yeah. We're doomed. Poor Robin. What will even happen? I don't know. Will she ever forgive me? What a mistake. <laughs> Cause the worst of it is, I thought I was being smart. But in reality, I wasted like half of that hardwood, right? I should have just held off on giving it to her. Right. What a shame. Oh well. Fortunately, I'm not like super duper hurting for hardwood. Except for right now in this exact moment. There we go. Oh look! Hey, you know what? On the bright side, we got a couple of these units over here. I'll take that. Oh, I need to ditch something. Slime junk, because I don't even know what you use it for. Topaz, I'll take it. And look, Omni Geode. Ooh, what should I ditch? How about this? Eat this. Good. All right. Wow. Whoa, we just had like a nice string of geodes. Whoa. All right. Some gold over yonder. Good. I never use the, like, defensive capability of the sword. I think that's why I generally prefer the hammer, because it's just more offense. And it has, like, a knockback effect. I don't know. I try to use it, but I find I always just mess it up. And the dagger, I dislike the, um... The swing radius. The reach on it is just so minuscule. I like the hammer. Let's see. We should probably get out of here. Alright. Can I speak to the Dwemer dude? Yeah, let's speak to him. I haven't yet learned their language. Aopu Olean Haksu Nanun. 
It says that they're a dwarf, but uh, I don't know. I'm more keen to believe that they are, in fact, a... Oh god, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about. Utini! Who are they? Who says that? Those little dudes. Utini! Who, who are they? Who are they? God, what are they? Oh my god. What are those Utini dudes? <laughs> they go in their big sand crawler. They're all over Tatooine. What do they want? They want your stuff. What is their name? Those Utini dudes. Oh my god, they're like one of my favorites. Yes, Ru Rusty Ruckman saying Jawas. Oh my god, yeah. Jawas. All right, let's deposit this. Hmm, what else should I get rid of here? I don't know. All right, that'll do. Let's see, I can put some of this in my fridge. Forgot that I've got this new refrigerator set up. All right, let's get up and over here. Deposit some stuff. Well, not nearly as much as I thought was going in there. <laughs> How about that mushroom? Why not? Well, no, it's kind of valuable. I should, I should take it. I should, I'll take that. Okay, there we go. Oh, look, I got pumpkins in here. How many pumpkins? Ooh, I should take all of them out except for five. Pumpkins are too valuable to keep in the fridge. Did I pet Gordon tonight? Nope. Or, yep, I already did. <sighs> All right, we'll do one more day. Good lord. We've gone kind of long. <laughs> but, I, what can I say? I, I really enjoy this game. All right. First of winter. Oh, I love it. Some items were placed in the town lost and found. Oh, what? What, could, what does that mean? Huh. Let's see. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment, and now the weather forecast for tomorrow. I never hear any news and entertainment from Kozu 5. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow, fortune teller. Oh, good humor. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Winter, a time when all the world goes quiet. Now's a great time to do some mining, fishing, and gathering. Upgrade your tools in preparation for a productive spring. Or get your local carpenter to build something on your farm. Stock up on resources, upgrade, and prepare for the next year. Sounds great. We should do that. If anything, we should have started last time. Okay. What should we upgrade first? I'm thinking watering can, right? What the fuck is this? <gasps> it's my jack-o'-lantern! Decomposing organic material. It's slimy and unpleasant. Oh, no! Oh, I can't even recycle it. Okay. Weird! What do I do with it? I'm keeping it. <laughs> I don't know. Hi! How are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye! Wow, she put an emoji in her letter. <laughs> Signed, Emily. Thanks, Emily. Dear Lyle, thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade. In addition to doubling the capacity of your coop, I've taken the liberty of, Oh, I know what went into the lost and found. All of the shit I deposited but didn't meet the requirement for. So there must be a ton of hardwood in there. Where is the lost and found? I think that's in... Um, what's his name's house? Mr. Mustache. Yeah, Suspenders and Mr. Mustache. Why have I forgotten his name? It's not Pierre. I don't know. All right. I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. To use the incubator, simply place an egg inside. If you have space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. As always, thanks for your business, Robin. Oh, Robin. You're wonderful. Let's see. Gordon is having a good time. All right. Let's see. Oh, shit. You know what I didn't keep track of? How much money we got from the pumpkin. From the one-star pumpkin. 
Hmm. We'll at least load these up here. There we go. Good. All right. Eggs. Hey. Isn't there like an auto feeder you can get? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe that's the upgrade. I forgot. There you go. Enjoy yourselves. Shut that, keep the cold out. I don't know if that has an effect, but I don't, it, it feels nice. It feels like a nice thing to do. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference to their happiness, but I can't, I can't bear to have that going on. There you go. All right. Good. We're here. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you are. Great. Okay, and then we can get some goat cheese, which I do actually need. Boom. Okay. Throw that in there. Anything else? Nah. Alright. We don't yet have any sheep. Hmm. Just a goat. Let's see. Travel on up this way. Let's see. What should I ditch? I should get this corn juice out of here. That sounds foul. Corn juice? That sounds really bad. I couldn't even, like, even if I were, like, trying to be healthy, and, you know, like, like earlier, the eggplant juice. Sure, yeah. That seems pretty healthy. Corn juice? Oh. That seems awful. There was one point where, um, got a case of bottled water. And for whatever reason, wherever we got it from, maybe it had to do with the bottles, but... Inside, all of the water tasted of a hint of corn. It was terrible. It was terrible. Okay, let's see. What do I need to do? I need to upgrade shit. Right? Hmm. We've got rocks, we've got money. I need some wood. Hmm. Or I could upgrade the house. Because I think you can upgrade the house to where you get like a cellar, right? And you can put um, unique items in there like, I forgot what they're called, casks? That have a completely super dope use to where you age stuff like your cheese and your, uh, your wine. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. All right. Uh, you know what? I do need some wood, don't I? Plain ass wood. Rusty Reckman says corn water. Gross. I know. <laughs> Dreams of any. At least it wasn't pear. <laughs> Honestly, you know what? Real talk, I would have appreciated the pear flavor a lot more than corn. Ugh. Good God. What a nightmare. What a nightmare scenario. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anything pear-flavored, now that I think of it. Are there many things in the world that are pear-flavored? I think maybe it's just some sort of admission by the world that just pear-flavoring is just bad. Hmm. Let's upgrade the coop, I guess, right? Deluxe barn, deluxe coop. Hmm, should I do the, the barn or the coop? Or the house? How many do I need for the house? Upgrade house. I can increase the size of your house and add a nursery. It'll cost 50,000 big ones, and you'll also need to provide me with 150 pieces of hardwood. Are you interested? I am. Thank you, I'll get started tomorrow. I should be finished in around three days. Great. Hey, Maru. Oh, man, it's so cold. Oh, shit. New achievement clicks. Oh, I guess I got enough people up to five stars. We're insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it is. Hey, do you all want flowers? 
This is a super gift. Thank you. Let's see. Sometimes he likes foraged stuff, though. But I don't know. A lot of people don't seem to enjoy Holly. Because he's a scientist, so sometimes he enjoys, like, examining the foraged item. Hmm. Should I run the risk? Fuck it. He hates it. He hates it. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> All right. Thanks, this is really nice. What do you have to say normally? Nope, nothing? Okay, fair enough. Oh, Rusty Reckman says, Some might say that soda pops are just corn water. Oh yeah, in a way. Shock Beetle saying, Corn water has the same energy as hot dog water. Oh, God. Oh, La Croix has a pear flavor. Really? Huh. All right. Yeah, I haven't... I don't know. I guess I personally just haven't seen anything with with corn flavor. Or corn flavor! <laughs> oh, God, that's even worse! We need to get off of this. We're creating demons here. No, God! Mmm, try some corn-flavored Starburst. Ooh, my cornman aid. Cornman aid. No, wait. The the mon from Lemonade is because of lemon. <laughs> it would be it would just be cornade. Cornade. Sounds like a weapon. Looking for red mullet. Cash payment on delivery. You just want to see me wear a cool hairstyle or something? A cool hairstyle. I don't know. I don't have anything against the mullet. A word of warning. My mom really hates spiceberry. I think she might be allergic. Let's see. Hey, Marnie. What's going on? Animals are so innocent. So sweet. And if I don't look after them, who will? I look after a few. But not as many as you. I just hope my chickens aren't too upset when I take their eggs. That's sad to think about, Marnie. Let's see. What have you got here, dude? You got anything good? Nah, not really. Hey. You can't grow any crops during the winter, so I have no seeds to offer you. It's really going to cut into our profits. He says with a smile. <laughs> yeah. I like how everyone sort of... Sort of says like, wow, yeah, farm in town. That's going to be such a huge boon to our town economy. And you know what? At first I kind of scoffed at the idea... But honestly, look at me. I'm like, I'm like shuffling through hundreds of thousands of gold now. Like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm like causing loads of money to appear everywhere. I love the way everything looks when it's covered with fresh snow. Me too. Oh, I was debating romancing Leah. All right. For this playthrough, but I think I'm, I'm just a fucking fool. I'm just going to go with Maru again. Let's see. Over here. Hmm. Up this area. Jeez, what am I looking for again? Yeah, winter foraging. Oh, I need the snow yam. Right. I have a crocus, a crocus. Hmm. Let's go on out over here. Rusty Reckman says, what are you going to grow in spring? I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe just a whole bunch of lemons or something. Or not lemons. Um, melons. <laughs> Robin's Resource Rush. I'm putting on a little promotion just for fun. If anyone can collect a hundred, a thousand pieces of wood in a week, they'll earn a reward and you can keep the wood. Hey, I'm going to invite some friends over to do a rock rejuvenation ceremony. But I'll need some crystals to channel the right energies. Do you think you could lend me a hand? What? Hmm. Do I think I could get a thousand pieces of wood in one week? I don't know. I didn't... There's not that many... There's not that many trees up because I've been fucking chopping them down like a fool. How long will this be here for? It depends. I could just plant a shit ton, and then we could definitely do it. Right? Oh, shit, look at these. Cinnamon buns. 
pick them fresh this morning. Mixed seeds. I think you can actually use mixed seeds during the winter. They're the only thing, I think. All right. Over here. Get this. These. Let's see. Down over this way. Yep, we'll take care of all these just as well. There we go. Dreams of any. Gotta charge my crystals. Rusty Rackman says, Emily's a fun person to romance. Yeah, she's not... I don't know. She's not my type. But I do kind of enjoy the concept of her character, right? Especially in this world where... Like, I don't know, like typically, I guess for better or worse, I would probably scoff at someone like her in real life, even though, even though I probably shouldn't, right? You know, just let people do their thing and all that. But um, in the world of Stardew Valley, like, her shit is like completely real, right? Because there's like weird magic shit happening all the time. There's literally a wizard. There is literally a wizard who lives in a wizard's tower. <laughs> so, I mean, who who the fuck knows? There's all sorts of weird shit going on. All right, let's get on up here. We need to plant some trees. I think trees will grow during the winter, right? I'm almost positive of that. Let's see. I do love winter time in the game, in any game. That has like a winter cycle or whatever. I love winter in real life as well, whenever it snows. Oh gosh, I'm not even reading what these things are going through with. I love playing in the snow when I was a kid. The great thing about being a mother is that I get to enjoy it again. Aww. I love that. Let's see. What's up, Vincent? I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Okay, bye. <laughs> Fair enough go some sort of tuber i think you get extra worms during the winter right oh shit rusty spoon for gunther okay is there anything good up here hmm let's see there's abigail we may as well talk to her for the day well fall is over yeah she loves fall but i like winter too oh okay sure i'm down with winter it's probably my second favorite, right? Okay. Let's see. We need to go up here. Investigate this. Hmm. No. Not that at all. <laughs> Down here. Right. Yeah. Good. Pop that in there. Yeah, holly is a forged item during winter, but it's not needed here. Weird. Instead, you need the snow yam. Okay. Let's go over this way. We'll plant a whole bunch of these trees. My only concern is, is that if we accept this quest too early, I don't think the trees will grow in time, right? I think it takes longer. Okay. Head on over here. Should we check on the wizard? I don't know. There we go. Get that. We got a snow yam around here? No. Not really. You got any hogs on that farm? <laughs> yeah, Pam. Yeah, I do. Actually, I don't. Unless we're talking about my hog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sorry, Pam. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get out of here. There. <laughs> What a, that was the only thing she had to ask. That was the only thing Pam wanted to know. <laughs> Damn, what's going on? <laughs> what, what an odd thing to say. <laughs> you got any hogs up there? Jeez, Pam, what's going on? Let's do all this. There we go. Look, it perfectly timed out. All right. Now it's time to throw trees everywhere, huh? Let's see. I believe all trees grow at the same rate, save for mahogany, right? 
Let's see. Actually, I don't have any seeds in there. Where are they all? Hmm. I don't know. Threw them all away. Turned them into... Oh, shit, look. I have a gazillion pine cones. Holy shit. Okay. Let's see. Put the crocus in there. Oh, I should hit up Gunther. Oh, God. Is Gunther still open? What time does Gunther sh shut down everything? Oh, jeez. I think he might already be gone. Let's go to town. This little machine, by the way, also something I got from fixing up the community center, by the way. We were talking about all the little different tasks and goals. All right, here we go. Donate. Give him a spoon. You like that, Gunther? Look, you have a reward for me. I don't even know what. I thought I already got it all. A crystal chair. Weird. All right. Dude, if they ever make, like, a Stardew Valley sequel that's also a farm game, or just anything else in the Stardew Valley universe, they need to show the town where the person went who stole everything from the museum. Because it occurred to me when I was starting this save file, Gunther asks for your help because the last, like, museum curator or someone stole everything from the museum and ran off with it. So I don't know what the fuck is going on there. I could do with a respite from my lonely labors. Jeez. Poor dude. Alright. Let's go on up here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go to the bus stop because it's right next door. And then we'll plant a whole bunch of pine cones. I think you need two spaces, two tiles between each cone. Each pine cone. Yo, I love this huge fucking pumpkin here. Can I move it somehow? I want to, like, decorate with this giant pumpkin, but... It's kind of in, like, an awkward position, huh? Alright. Let's see. One, two, three. 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 Good, and then we can have, like, a grid suit. Well, with this, I don't know if this counts or not. All right. There we are. We'll just plant them like so. Cross our fingers that those two work. If not, you know what? It's probably fine. We're gonna plant so many. That way, one of these days during the winter, we can just have at them all. There we go. Probably max out our foraging with this. There we are. Look at this. We're going... Are we going overboard now? We got a little too many. Oh, dude. These rare crows. The scarecrows with, like, the unique models. I saw that they added in... Huh. <laughs> There's a chicken growing in my farm. Weird. <laughs> but I saw that they added in, like, a deluxe super-powered rare crow. So once you've got, like, um... Oh, look, that worked out perfectly there. But once you've got all of them, like, the Rare Crow Collection Society will mail you, like, a ultra-powerful Scarecrow Deluxe or whatever that has, like, double the Scarecrow radius as your standard Scarecrow. Pretty neat. Not terribly important, but pretty neat nonetheless. Something to consider in future building plans. See, I think this one... Yeah, that's way too close. This one, though. Eh, that might work. I don't know. It might be too close to that. Okay. How much time do we have? We got plenty of time. Thank goodness we don't have to water these. It'd be smart to plant a whole bunch of... What you call them? Like, fruit-bearing trees. But... I don't know. I'll just have to chop them down and move them at some point to plan better. And I can't bear to do it. Feels like such a waste of money and all that. There we go. Okay. 
Man, we are going to have so many trees, huh? This has got to be overkill, huh? Well, we do need the wood. Even if we don't um, get this optional mission later and get it completed for Robin, it'll still be worth it for the wood because we're running low. We need it for standard upgrades. Look, we even missed a stump right there. There we are. Speaking of stumps, holy shit, we need to check out the hidden forest. Whew. Always forget. I forget, how much is, is the hardwood even worth? Oh, look, these things. These things are great. They restore a whole bunch. Yeah, even just the baseline. No star value. 63 energy. Just for a foraged item. And there's that foraging upgrade that you can get that makes it, like, guaranteed, I think? That foraged items are always iridium quality. Pretty neat, I think. Alright. Here we go. Look, I think we timed this just right. Maybe. If it gets to 1 a.m., I'm gonna leave. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Got some wormulons. Gotta prioritize those, just in case there's, like, a rare item. There is no such thing. <laughs> Unfortunate enough. Alright. I already did, um... That guy's thing. Where you feed him the super sweet crystal gem. Can only do it during autumn. Yeah, we're gonna have to skip out on the bottom, too. I don't want to risk staying out too late. There we are. On the flip side, I would love to get the horse. Get Prior Mabel here at the ready. To fly along. Would make a... I think the run speed is really significantly quicker with a horse. As you would expect. But, um... I always find myself running into the issue of, like, I forget where the horse is at. It'll return every day to your stable. But, like, throughout the day, I usually only have the horse with me for a few runs. And then I forget where I last left it. Okay. Weather report. We already checked this. Gonna snow! Fortune. That's uh, irrelevant right now. <laughs> okay. There we are. Just in time. Oh. Ooh. What was that noise? That was a weird noise. What was that? Okay. Maybe that was the sound of Robin coming to the house to work on it. Expanded. All right. Cool. Holy cow. Well, we can just time this out here, huh? Oh, look at that. And there's Robin right there by the mailbox working. All right. We'll chill out here by our big pumpkin. Jeez, we went long with this stream. <laughs> like I said, I get sucked into this game. I love playing it for... um. Just my chill-out game. Listen to a podcast and stuff. It's very easy to relax, to. It's super-duper chill and relaxing. Just to see, I don't know, the numbers go up. Just design your little farm. I always liken it to, I guess, right now, probably Animal Crossing, except without the real-time limitation. So you can really just keep on going and going and playing. Because you don't have to wait, like, real-life time or advance your your console clock, but no one does that. No one does that. Certainly I don't. I really don't. I really do not. <laughs> also, I kind of, I don't know, I fell off of Animal Crossing because of that. Because of the real life limitation, right? It's it's difficult for me to, to balance it, I guess. Don't worry, with this clock here going, we'll, uh, I won't save it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, thanks all who came out. Jeez. Let's see. Let's run through the log here. Good lord, look at the snow, it's really like... Jeez, I'm looking at the camera. You can really tell. Jeez, let's go inside, actually, because the snow is, like, completely blowing me out in the the camera here. Good lord. There we go, that's a little bit more homey. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, let's scroll on up through here. Yeah, thanks everyone who came through. Um, Echo Rain showed up, also... Or, showed up and chatted, right? To be clear, everyone who chatted 
came out, chatted, gave us a sub. Jeez, Moplin won. Chatting and subbing, Rusty Reckman showed up here. Milf Sword showed up, hit us with a sub. Metal Bending hanging out. Shulk Beetle. Let's see, Dreams of Vinny as well. Subbed. Uh, Milf Sword gifted five subs. Holy shit. Let's see. Who else? Anyone else? Did I get everybody? <laughs> and Samantha says, showed up just at the end. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And of course, like I said at the beginning of this, thanks as well to the folks who followed in between streams. We did actually stream yesterday. Our first comeback, so to speak. After the holidays. Let's see, it was... Hey Scully, it's me. I guess Mulder has followed. And Shulk Beetle as well, who also showed up here for the, the stream as well. Thanks all, and thanks as well. If you're watching the archives, or if you're just chilling out quietly, it's all good, especially with this, right? It's very relaxing. I don't know. I, I, I was wondering if I would have much to talk about, but geez, I somehow managed to figure it out. <laughs> I just couldn't shut up. Jeez, it kind of hurts my, my throat a bit. <laughs> all right. Um, tomorrow, Morrowind Mondays in the evening. All of that good stuff. It's a new week tomorrow. Look forward to it. Good Lord. What a time. Um, Stardew Valley. Check it out. It's, it's excellent. I love it. If you're into this kind of thing and you think that you might like it, definitely check it out. It's, it's gone on sale frequently. It just had a big update, 1.5. It added, like, some tropical island you can visit. Cool stuff like that. Very neat. Love Stardew Valley. All right. I think that's it, right? Yeah. I still need to post these archives. <laughs> I've got, like, with this, I'll now have four in the hopper that I need to actually post on the archive channel. I'm awful. I'm awful. I'm just fucking playing Stardew Valley all the time. That's the problem. All right. <laughs> bye. 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 Be safe. Take care of each other. All that good stuff. Let's see. I need to look over here at this real quick. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so unprofessional. Bye. 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 Bye.